Hi, this is Galit Gofarb and welcome to my Gorilla Life Coaching videos. Five times a week I talk about a quote that can help you move your life to a better, healthier and happier place for you and I hope you gain a lot of value from these videos. I make them for you. So how are you doing today? <clears throat> I hope that you're feeling good and you have a strong belief in yourself because today our quote of the day is, a thing is not necessarily true because a man dies for it by Oscar Wilde. This quote is all about our beliefs that we hold. Sometimes our beliefs about ourselves and our abilities are right, but most often they are wrong. Wrong beliefs may, as Oscar Wilde said, lead us even to death. Even when we are physically alive, we can still be dead on the inside when we hold certain limiting beliefs. As I said in yesterday's video, we see our life through our beliefs and we will not let thoughts that negate our beliefs to enter our mind. Together, all of our thoughts and beliefs form a vision of the person we see ourselves to be. Now this vision that we hold of the person we see ourselves to be is what controls all of our actions. We will always act in accordance to the person that we see ourselves to be. We will not be able to act differently from what the person we see ourselves to be would act. <clears throat> Therefore, our thoughts and beliefs lead our behaviors. We will lead our life through the law of cause and of effect of cause and effect that I spoke about in yesterday's video. This person that we see ourselves to be is based on all of our former thoughts, beliefs, and experiences that we have had or been through throughout all of our life. All of our behaviors come from this vision of how we see ourselves to be. We will always produce results that are based on the vision that we have created for ourselves of the person who we think we are who we believe we are. However, there is scientific proof that human potential is so much higher than we currently are using. Personally, each of us are, is using. Scientists say that often we are using only a very small percentage of our brain capacity in comparison to what we have the ability to use. Some say that we are using only between 1 and 10% of our brain capacity depending on us. <laughs> so, our potential is so much higher than we believe it is to be. We, we, but we limit ourselves according to our beliefs. And this is why our beliefs are called limiting beliefs, because they limit our capacity, because we now know that a person will only be able to reach the potential that they believe they can reach. It's very simple. We won't be able to do something if we hold the belief that we cannot do it. We have a vision for our ability in every single field of life. And all of these little visions come together to form the whole vision of who we see ourselves to be. We will always walk, talk, think, act, and behave in absolute alignment with the person we see ourselves to be. No less and no more. By changing the small visions of, that we hold of ourselves in different areas of importance for our success, and by changing our beliefs in these small little areas, we can change the total vision we hold of ourselves to a better, more advanced vision of ourself. We hold a small visions of our ability in everything, from our ability to uh, about how we look, about how we cook, about how we dress, how we drive, what sports we are good at, and if we're good at sports, even how good we are at reading, memorizing, all of our parenting skills, all of our personal management, management of our weight, uh, of uh, how musical we are, of um, how good we are in, in, in certain fields of study, how fast we can learn, uh, how fast we can learn a new language, and which languages we can learn, and even how good we are between the sheets. <laughs> now, there are really countless, countless small visions that we hold about ourselves and our abilities in every single field of life. Anything that we have experienced in our life, we will hold a belief about it in relation with ourselves, and this belief will influence our behaviors and actions in that area. Now, these small visions for every field of life influence our perceived ability in that field. And all of these small visions together, especially for fields that are important to us, form our total vision of the person who we are. To change our beliefs, we will need to change this vision of the person we see ourselves to be, one small field at a time. 
but how do we change our vision and what do we change it to? First of all, let's talk about what do we change it to? Well, we also hold a vision of the ideal person we would like to be, the person that we could be when we reach our highest potential. This vision comes from the people throughout our life who we admired and through books, biographies, movies, seminars, everywhere that we saw a person that, that inspired us. Together, the characteristics that those people held that we admired in them form a vision of the ideal self, of our ideal self. And this, this helps us point us in the right direction where we truly want to be. Now, throughout our life, if we choose to, we can slowly change our beliefs and thus our behaviors to become more in line with that ideal vision that we hold. This ideal vision is one that we can reach when we have self-control over our thoughts and beliefs, which I covered in the previous video I made yesterday, which I will link to at the end of this video. And when we slowly improve this vision of the person who we see ourselves to be step by step. In order to change our behavior in any field, we will need to change our vision of the person we see ourselves to be in that area. And we can change even a very negative situation to a very positive situation through practice of positive thoughts and beliefs. Now, because thought patterns are ones that have formed in our mind through practicing them over and over again, we form neural networks that fire together uh, on a regular basis. This happens when we think certain thoughts over and over again. So in order to change these thought patterns that are non-beneficial to us, then we must think new thought patterns over and over again. This, in time, through repetition, will form new neural networks that will become our new default thought patterns, which we will follow day to day in our day-to-day -day activities and will bring us closer to a much better place than we are today. You can choose to see every situation in either a negative or a positive light. It is your choice. Now, positive people have formed the habit of seeing things in a positive light. Very simple. This is why they can relate better with other people, they interact better with other people, and they see the good in everything. And they are willing to take on more risks because they do not care about rejection. They see that everything is in their own favor, always. Now, this way of thinking, just as any other way of thinking, is a, is a habitual thought pattern that they have formed by practicing this way of thinking for long enough for it to become a habit. We have to see ourselves as winners in every situation, in each of these small little fields of life that are important for us. We have to see ourselves as being a winner in that field. And this is actually the summary of positive thinking, holding the vision of us being winners in every field of life that is important for our advancement. And once we see ourselves as being winners in the small visions of the person that we see ourselves to be, then we will have an overall vision of us being winners. And we will be holding the vision that we are great in the things that we need to be great to succeed all of the time. But the key, there is a key, one more key uh, towards changing our vision of the person that we are today. And this is doing it in a relaxed manner. Now, this is very, very important not to do things forcefully, especially when you make these mental changes. In physical changes, we can do things, uh, we can do things with more energy and more force. But when we want to change mental habits, we must do it in a relaxed way with love, self-love, and this will have much better chances of success at embedding these new thought patterns into our mind much faster and much more readily. Stress and force only delay or even completely hinder the developmental process. All mental change must be done with ease, with ease of mind, and with love, self-love. And only when we relax and believe with a full heart that things, that the things we need and desire will become part of our lives, then they can become part of our lives. The more effort we put into changing our thought patterns, 
that lead to our, our behaviors, the further away we will get our desires. We will move our desires from us. All me mental work needs to be done with an ease of manner, in a relaxed state of mind, and with self-love. This is the only way things can change for you. If you try to force things to happen faster than they should, especially when the change is mental, then you will bring onto yourself deep frustration, stress, and confusion. All you need to do is relax, believe in yourself and your abilities, and to focus on your ideal self. In the physical plane, you do want to take action, but in the mental plane, you want to allow the change in by relaxing your mind. So as I always do with these videos, I will provide you with a question that you want to ask yourself so that the answer will help you move your life to a better place for you. And the question of the day is, what areas of life do I hold limited visions of myself and what is my ideal in these areas of life for me? As usual, I recommend writing this question and your answer in a notebook that you have especially prepared for these coaching sessions so that you can look over them, and make sure that you are focusing and moving yourself forward to the ideal version of you. So let's finish off with the affirmation of the day. And it is, I entertain only beliefs that are self-nurturing and of me being a winner. I entertain only beliefs that are self-nurturing and of me being a winner. Now tell this to yourself as many times as you remember to do so today because an affirmation has the power to completely transform your life with repetition. So I hope you liked this video and I hoped it helped. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Please also subscribe to my channel and ring the notifications button uh, to get notified every time I upload a new video. And also please visit my website, thegorilladiet.com to help you move your life to a better, healthier place for you. Thank you very much for joining.